I'm Chad from FSI, and welcome to the fourth episode of our Arena Editor series. If you haven't watched our previous episode about buildings, you can watch it here. In the background, you see Jacob placing trees and rocks in the arena, which we have created in the previous episodes. For trees, we have various categories. For example, leaf trees, needle trees, palm trees, and bushes. For each of these categories, we have subcategories. These are healthy trees, sick trees, dead trees, and broken trees. Whenever you place a tree, it will randomly select a model from the pool of the chosen type. You can also do this manually if you prefer. With rocks and vegetation on top, you can create nice formations, and we will add a preset creator for this later. With such formations and clever placement, you can create nice caves and natural rock bridges to add visual uniqueness and also interesting gameplay relevant level designs to your arenas. Sometimes we will speed up the video a bit so we can cover more surface in a shorter time. Later in development, we will create a system that makes it possible to paint whole areas with vegetation or rocks with single brush strokes. The trees can be placed, scaled, and rotated freely with an intuitive system. Rocks are placed the same way, but have additional rotation axes available for you. In the final game, there will be more tree and rock types available, but as you can see, we already have plenty. The vegetation and rocks you have seen in our trailers were all placed this way. As mentioned in previous episodes, everything will be available in multiplayer. So you can, for example, focus on vegetation while your friends create and paint buildings, shape terrains, or place decorations and gameplay relevant objects. We might also offer the possibility to change leaf colors, and we are even thinking about adding luminescent colors for your alien worlds and avatar style levels. Let's check our modifications from a drone's perspective. The lighting is calculated now, and you can see that the denser areas are shaded in a realistic way. The trees and rocks give a lot of cover during battle and offer new possibilities to experienced pilots during dogfights. Escaping through narrow spaced forests when having a bigger opponent chasing you is fun, and this highlights that piloting smaller, more agile drones might be a big advantage. The sense of speed that you get in such dense areas is thrilling. Races and dogfights can become a true challenge compared to more openly designed arenas or areas within arenas. Before I wrap this up, let me quickly show what's up next for the Arena Editor series. Decoration Objects. Stay tuned for the next episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Drone is a community-driven game, and it is important that we reach more people before we can start the crowdfunding campaign. If you want to see Drone become a reality, we need your help with spreading the word. Chad, signing out. I hope to see you in the next one.